Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2015, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, everyone is following along on a calendar that they've downloaded on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com, and I see today that it says Candy Cane Dreams. Now, we know that all the time of the holiday, we get a lot of candy canes, and there's only so many that you can eat and hang on the tree that go stale and throw away later. Well, I'm going to show you how to turn these candy canes into a great gift or even a snack to share with friends. Yes, that's right. I'm going to show you how to make a fudge out of these candy canes. It's my candy cane fudge up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2015. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my candy cane fudge is really simple. And I've started with a saucepan here. And what I have here is the white chocolate chips. And this is 20 ounces that we're gonna put in the saucepan. This is sweetened condensed milk. And this is 14 ounces. And we're just gonna put that right on in there. Just like that. And make sure you get all the goodness right out of there. Because this is gonna really make the fudge nice and creamy. Now we're going to put this up on medium heat until it's melted down and just make sure that it doesn't burn because that would not make good fudge. So keep an eye on it, keep stirring, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that we have the chips melted down with the sweetened condensed milk, I've got one and a half cups of the crushed candy canes here. We're just going to mix those right on in there. And then I have peppermint extract. You need about a half teaspoon of that. So just go ahead and put that right on in there. Just like that. And I like to pump up the color with just a little bit of food coloring. This is some red food coloring. There we go. Now we're gonna mix this up until it's well mixed. And then we're gonna put it in a pan. So let me check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now I have a nine inch baking dish here. And what I'm going to do is now just take this mixture and pour it in. And what I've done is I put some foil down at the bottom and I sprayed it with some cooking spray. That way it'll come out real easy. We're going to cut it up into squares once it firms up in the fridge. We're going to pop this into the fridge until it firms up nice and firm like fudge. There we go. Look at that. And if you really want to, you could really decorate it like we have some of the starlight mints left over and we could put some up on top just to make it look really pretty and festive like look at that or you could crush some more of the candy canes up on top and make it even better but let's pop this in the fridge and let it firm up i'll check back with you in just a moment And there you have it, my candy cane fudge. Look at that, that looks so festive. We added the red food coloring, but you could probably add the green to make it look even more festive. You could wrap this up in pretty cellophane and give it away as gifts, or just share it with friends. And we put some crumbled up of the candy canes on top of it to make it look even more great. But I can't wait to try this, so let me get a little piece of it. Mmm, it has that peppermint white chocolate taste and it has a slight crunch of the candy canes too and that definitely does taste like the holidays and people will enjoy that on a buffet table too and it's just so pretty and cut it up on pretty squares and wow, 
I hope you get a chance to make my candy cane fudge. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And, of course, download the calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com so you can follow along. There's been a video every day since December 1st, and I'm going to December 25th. So that's a lot of videos to catch up on, and you can use the calendar. Because I see tomorrow it says Apple Butter Bread. That is so exciting. That's a great one for the holidays, too. I love spending the holidays with you. Follow me on Twitter. Add me as a friend all over the place. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of Trailer Park Christmas 2015. I love spending the holidays with you. And I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride Bye. in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.